what the heck? Ah, I'm freaking out. Something's in here. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. There's something in here. You gotta get it. It's your job. Oh. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. There was, I, I walked into the barn, and I used to walk in thinking, like, what if something was in there? And then, oh, Jesus! I, I don't, I'm getting the heck out of here. Death, Hendrix, it's all on you. Closing the door. All right, good morning. <laughs> There's something in the barn, that's all I know. Hi, handsome one and handsome two. You've been pooping all night, I see. All right, back it up. I don't know how this is gonna work. Back it up. This is not gonna go good because I'm trying to take care of two sets of horses. Uh, yeah. Stella, let's move you over a bit. Somehow, between the time that I started walking down here, Willow broke free. Stella, no. Stella, get away from her food. Oh God, I do not know what I'm doing. Stella, that's yours. Finn, do not try and take Storm's food. I maybe should have fed them separately because she's gonna try and steal Willow's food and he's, Finn's gonna try and steal Storm's food. I should have a partner. I feel like Finn's gonna be the first to go. I know I need to separate them further. Oh, you got lots. Here, no, it's okay. Don't, why do you think I would hurt you? I've never hurt you a single day. This horse, I feel like, I feel like he's been through some stuff, you guys. Whether it's true or not, I just feel it. Like, I literally feel like he's been through some stuff. We are not. A hitting family I've said that before we are not a hitting family and he feels like he maybe came from a hitting family because he panics I mean panics at the thought of anything bad happening like he, like he just has some behaviors like if somebody stands above his neck oh he loses his mind I don't think so <laughs> even though I love you I know we should feed hay first. I just don't even know how we got on the habit of this. All right, we're still going. Still going strong. Storm, eat. Don't be fooling around. Come on, be able to steal your food. No. Stella, see, this is where it gets bad. You have to let her eat, my love. Let her eat. No, nope, can't happen. Let's get you a fly mask on, eh? A fly mask? No. Oh, I know. She's like, oh, you're just the most annoying girl. You think I'm annoying? Breakfast <laughs> and you didn't try and steal storms? Good job. No. Oh, good job, Willow. Stella doesn't listen to you though. Back it up, sister. Back it up. You know how sometimes your meal is just not good until you've licked the bowl completely clean? Get that one. That one's yours. Lick it clean. I'm done. I'm gonna lick my hand. You know, there was a time Stella would never have licked our hands. I don't know if it's a trust thing or not, but she does lick now. I'm very proud of you. Good boy. No cuts? No cuts! Oh, what is that on you? Good boy. Okay, you're okay, Storm. Storm gets the most grain and takes him forever. Then. You didn't finish yours. Come here, dude. You got lots left. <laughs> Good 
Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about how I did not get dressed yet or brush my hair and that is okay. No, just joking. Today's video is all about, we spend so much time on our channel talking about the things that we've done wrong and that we've made mistakes with. Um, and today I want to spend time talking about things that we've done right in our lives. In our journey today I want to spend time talking about things that we've done right because we have we've done some things right you guys it might seem shocking to some of you but we have done a few things right one of the things the big thing that I think for me that I did right was never giving up on Stella I think that I have a lot of help a lot of guidance from some of you guys and from um, some friends and a biggest support from Fiona and I never gave up on her and even if she turned into be the wildest beast you could ever imagine I still would never have given up on her she would have still been our horse so that is one thing that we did right I'm going to ask the girls today what they think that they've done right in their journey but I want to hear in the comments below what you think that you've done right I want to hear about something that you have not something that you don't have I don't want to hear I don't have a horse or I don't have a farm or I hate my life. I want to hear all the things that are in your life that you have and that make you who you are today um, because every experience serves a purpose and I want to hear what makes you, you. Tell them. Tell them what this week is, Gabby. Oh yeah, this week, this Saturday and Sunday is show week. We need to cut Finn's bridal path. Yeah, it is show week. Hey, Finn, you gotta get groomed up there. Did you feel good? One thing, hey, you match Finn. One thing you guys didn't realize when uh, we were grooming our horses the other day is that Gabby and I trimmed our horses bridal path. We should've got extra points for that. But Finny, yours is growing big. Yeah. It's thick. It's thick. You got food up your nose. Ew, that's you disgusting. No, because this is his last, second last show weekend. I know, but it's falling Oh, over. train it or trim it? Train it. Yeah, I'm with that. There's no trimming with a thick mane. No. Right now it's like that. He actually does not have a thick mane. The weird thing about Finn, that other horses, ew. The other horses are different. The only one of our horses like this, and I think maybe if I explain this, it'll explain a lot of his behaviors. Storm, stop. Okay, so... Our other horses are like, oh, here she comes. She's got the fly mask, run. All of them, they're all like that, except for Storm who doesn't really care. But Finn always puts everything together. He's like, oh, here comes the fly mask. That means I'm going out to the field to eat grass. Come and put it on me. Oh, here she comes with the saddle. That means I'm being ridden. Like he always, Storm, am I taking Finn? Okay, here you go. Take both. I don't have to take both. Do you want to take both? Yeah. All right, Finn's kind of a wild card. You just need to lead him out. Oh, no, he's okay. fine. Okay. Let's storm by his side. He's All right, comment below. Do you think she can do it? I've done it before. Mm. I led them both in at supper time from all the way back there. All right, let's do it. I am boiling hot, man. Finn, you're on the wrong side of me. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay. But anyways, yeah, it's like, it's the weirdest thing. It's like... Our other horses live in the moment. Finn lives in, Finn lives in the what's gonna happen next. He knows things like, okay. I'll follow behind you in case somebody gets away. It's fine. Ugh. Okay. Storm, put your head up. Right, here we go. We are doing it. But yeah, like, that's why he has different like, behaviors than they do and it's not necessarily because he's bad or because we're doing everything wrong it's because he thinks a step ahead he's like oh they're bringing me in from the field that means i'm gonna get hay wait what you're taking me riding that is not what i expected i will not go willingly like that that's who he is and i kind of like it he reminds me of me maybe that's what our connection is you Gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I, I, I wanna try through the summer night. And when we, we, we are old and gray, we'll look back at this, the summer night.
pretty much all eaten down but there's too much still here to let the girls out but they have a little bit more uh oh we got to get them water <laughs> what was that it's like not again i'm separated from my girls so our riding arena needs to be cut before we have our lesson in the morning because we're having lessons in the morning and um i'm excited i like riding at home better than anywhere even like better than nice amazing footing because i feel like I like uh, riding on nice amazing footing better. You do, I know you do. But I like that Stella can go Stella fast if there's far. a hill. Stella goes fast if there's a hill. So? Easier uh, on them if they gallop. So Brandon said I could ride in the Western Saddle for just this lesson. And the reason I wanted to do it is because I can learn more. <laughs> a lot of you guys who have been telling me, you need to do lunch line lessons are going to appreciate this, what I'm about to say. But when I take away having to worry about falling off because I don't really feel like I'm going to fall off in a western saddle I can practice on other things so much more and I get more from it so yeah that that's what I'm going to do this week oh poor Sophie's not here to see it you guys see him let's see Sophie used to be the biggest bug lover of life you guys see him oh Gabby, today there was something in the air, in the in the barn, and I was freaking out. A mouse? I don't know. That's all a mouse. Oh great, we have a mouse. Um, go. Where there's one mouse, there's a lot. Gabby, tell me one thing that you feel like you have done right with our horses. With your horse, with our horse, is with the barn, with the farm. One thing you've done right. Mm -hmm. Because we talk a lot about all the things we do wrong, but what's one thing? I know them more than anybody else. I know all the horses here more than anybody else. Yeah, you do. Literally. Yeah, you have done right. You've, you've bonded with all of our horses in a great way, and you've taken charge of them. You've taken a charge of this whole barn. And we look to I'm you. I'm a leader. Yeah, we look to I'm you a as leader. a leader. There's a 50-year-old girl. Woman. Woman. That's standing behind the camera. 49 and three quarters plus, plus, plus. <laughs> Almost 50. Almost 50. November 24th. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, she doesn't know them all as well. Though. Yeah. Sophie, I love your outfit today. Sophie chose this all by herself. That's my hair. Yeah, did you brush it? Uh-huh. I can never tell. All right, so stop eating. Finish that. Tell me one thing that you think that you did really right with your hor with the horses here. One thing that you've done well, that you're good at. You know how sometimes we talk about all the things we need to work on, all the things we need to fix, but what's something you did well and that you do good? Um, I don't know. What, is there anything that you're proud of? Yeah, I have a horse. You're proud because you have a horse? Right, and has it been a hard journey with your horse? Yeah. Yeah. We, like bucking me off. we plucked him out of a field and said, hey, let's go riding. And are you sticking with it? Are you there right, for him? And Austin's like, hey, let's go riding. Are you proud of the fact that you keep with him even though he, it's yeah. been a struggle? Do you feel like you're learning a lot on Finn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. I'm so proud of that. How to train them how to um, not get picked off. Think about the things that he was like when we first got him. What was a big struggle with him? Getting him to go fast. And um, making him not stop. But what was another thing when you were grooming him? Oh, his feet. Yeah. So how are his feet now? They're they're better. Yeah. The front feet, he you go near him and he's like. Yeah, and you used to be so afraid to do his feet, and now you're okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are working together, right? Okay. What is one thing that you think we do well on this little farm? Take care of our horses. All right, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you want? We do that for that. Because there's four people doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Everybody needs four people doing it. I heard a rumor that somebody said in our comments, and they said that we never do what they say. No, just joking. What they said was that you can tell which chicken is laying because they have the brightest, reddest combs. I saw this outside yesterday by the chicken coop. Is that the craziest thing? Like, what the heck is this? What is this, you guys? How did it appear? It is a fake 
chicken made out of hay and bones and skulls, it looks like. Yeah, that's a skull. That does look like an actual real chicken skull. Ew. Okay, you guys are probably thinking that is creepy as heck. Yeah. I have been outside in that side yard so many times and I never ever saw this. Sam and the girls said that they saw it a lot. But yeah, it just appeared. I just went out there one day and I looked over and there was this dead chicken staring at me. But then I thought, like, it's kind of interesting. And I don't know, I was meant to find it. So, I hope it's not a sign that one of our chickens are going to die. Like, yo, you better not die on me. So, we had to rehome our little chicken. She Look needs to go she more in the shade. shade. We know we need to put her more in the shade. We're going to do a test. To see, now put the oatmeal in there. In there? Yeah, so see these little Mel? You see these little things? They We use them for everything. So today we brought, just just dump it. We brought our, okay. So today we brought our chickens corn and oatmeal. And we're gonna see what they prefer. They all came running. She's like, listen, I'm the best laying egg, egg layer there is. So, here. they haven't even they tried it yet. So here, let's back it up a bit so that they can all feel safe. Okay, this is your smorgasbord today. What do you guys like? One's going in for the oatmeal. Ooh, she's like, it's yummy. I think the one that was eating the oatmeal is that one. All right, let's see if we can see the combs. Scooch over. Scooch. Yeah, their combs are all gorgeous. Gorgeous I red. she's one <laughs> Hi, Mom. All right, so corn is the best. Corn is the favorite, I'm going to say. Oh, look at Chicken Little's even going in for corn. They want the can. Chicken Little's a fast Oh, they like the oatmeal, too. They're like, this is the best day ever. This one's just eating corn. Oh, look, so look at that one. The corn all to herself. Yeah, this one. She's like, oh, did you eat this one? Our water jug here is turn is working out awesome. If you don't already have this jug, oh, it is God's gift to chickens. See, mom, it's almost gone. The corn. Yeah, is they. Oh, come back, Good. I got. I was pulling. Mom, you eat before it's all gone. Well, uh, long ago I dreamed of a very diverse flock of chickens, every color of the rainbow and all different types, and we ended up with all reds and a white and a black and white. I love reds. Oh, look at her. I love like, reds too. I love turkey, the dark red. Yeah. Right and there. Yeah. The yeah. I cannot touch turkey. She will run. And away. now I'm just happy with what I ended up with. I feel like you get what you get and you don't get upset. Look at Chicken Little. And then you go. He's like a Picasso painting. He is like a Picasso painting. That's a rooster for you. Roosters are gorgeous. I like hens better. I like the turkey yeah. color. See? Turkey's like the side of my yeah, hair. This is turkey. The dark red. Yeah. She's a pure that. Rhode Island red. These are just backyard mixes. Whoa, look at you. He has long legs. He's washing his face. Feathers. He just ate a feather. Boys are weird. The corn's gone, just like that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so today on the farm, I Sam's lawn tractor is broken, so I have to go and cut by hand our riding arena. We have lessons tomorrow, and I want to have a good lesson. And um, so because I need to do that and a bunch of other work around the property, I did what any procrastinating woman would do. We hopped in the car, and we're going shopping. <laughs> so Sophie, you got your bank card? Good, because you're about to pay for some stuff for your chickens. No, I'm not paying. Oh, okay. All right, so we bought we bought this diam whatever earth that people are recommending. See, I would only have like forty-seven. So this is where this is our feed store, and this is where we get a bunch of stuff. Oh, they have free coffee and donuts. Like, why don't they ever offer us? We come and we support this store. Can I get one? No, I don't think it's free. I'm just joking. Now that I have this diatomaceous earth, I can give it to all of my chickens and it'll also work for this little girl so I don't need to worry anymore that she has worms. She's like so anxious to get in there and meet her friends but closer. So once I give them this, I'll push them a little bit closer and see how that works. Integrating chickens when they're babies is a whole different story than integrating them when they're older. Do you see what they're acting like? They're like, whoa, let me get to her. No. They're like, oh my God, 
What is that yellow stuff that she's walking on? They were pecking the yellow stuff. The shavings. She's excited to have friends though. I'm excited for you. Our right, guys, update on the paddock situation. I've expanded the boys' little field here. Ran out of rope, but I have to get more rope. We're gonna put a big field out on our hay field, but for now, we have a little paddock area that goes all the way back down and uh, expanded it a bit so well, that would be good we're gonna get the grass cut where the where the uh, horses were before and put our chairs under the tree where it's nice and shady so when we ride we will have a nice shady spot to sit for me so there it is so we're gonna put our the we're gonna put these chairs over there underneath the tree all right, the boys are out in their new little field area. There they go, eating all the grass. Hopefully we'll have all this eaten up. This is a little area. Got it sectioned off over there. For now, I ran out of rope. I was gonna go all the way down and they go all the way in there. More grass until we get our big paddock done. What do you think? What do you think? What? I think. It'll be electric too once I turn the power on. I walked that whole paddock to make sure there was nothing on the ground that was dangerous. And I moved all the big logs out of the way. So it's good to go. Tall grass like, tall grass up to my chest. And I made sure it was all okay. Now we get one chance, one chance, yo. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.